Hey, this is Doug from Gears of Biz, and uh, I'm basically going to be breaking down for you guys today um, multitasking on a couple different devices. Um, obviously, this one right here is this is not an iPhone, this is the iPod Touch, but it still uses the same uh, iOS 4.2. Uh, this right here is the Samsung Epic. Um, it's running um, Eclair at the moment, um, that's 2.1. And then I've also got my Palm Pre over here. It's still hooked up to the charger, so it's all messed up. But um, I've had a couple people ask, you know, hey, you know, yeah, you've been saying some things about multitasking, but you know, we want some proof. You know, can you show it? Uh, you know, show us what, what? What are you talking about? So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'll leave the uh, iOS to last. So I'll just go ahead and uh, you guys can see my passcode for my uh, my phone. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a few things. So here's my here's my Twitter app. Back out of that and say I've got a, you know some text messages I want to look at. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, and for the sake of you know taking up some power on my uh, RAM, let's go ahead and open up some music. And Let's do do some Alter Bridge. That sounds good. Okay. So and for and lastly, let's open up. Let's see where there's my browser. Okay. So now let's now that we've got a bunch of these uh, these apps opened up. Let's just go ahead and start you know messing around a little bit. So let's say let's go to ESPN. Dot com. All right, it's already in there. And so we, you know, sorry. Go to video. And then say, oh, cr you know, oh shoot, I want to go back and view, view an email that I just got. So. Okay. So now, now that we've got these apps all opened up to a certain place, you know, so essentially what the Android operating system does is that it creates a save point. So um, now that we've already, you know, got these opened up, let's go back to our Gmail. But, oh, wow, look at that. It's still at the same place that I just left. Um, same, with the, same with my Twitter app. It's the exact same place that I just left it. Um, how about we just go back to our browser? Oh, there it is. So basically, you know, it, it is a little bit cumbersome, you know, in terms of you, you you do have to hit the home button to go back. But at the same time, though, it's you're still going back to the same place. You can pick up right where you left off, you know, and there's no backtrack. You don't have to keep on, you know, hitting this back button that you see down here. You keep on hitting back, hitting back, hitting back, and then you're creating a lot of extra work for yourself. And that's what, you know, the, this little uh, widget right here is your, um, your app killer. Just to show you, so I've got all these different apps going. And you know if you really, if you're you know even you want to jam out to some music. There's my, there's my music app. Let's go ahead and keep playing. Turn it down. And then go back to editing my email. So as you can see, I mean it, it can be done. It's not you know like I said, it's not nearly as you know intuitive as some of the other uh, operating systems that are currently out there. So, all right, let's go ahead and stop that. Close it out. Okay. So right here we got the Palm Pre. Now this is the original Palm Pre. This is not uh, the Pre 2 that you'll see that um, Verizon has. Um, and actually, the Pre 2 is not going to Sprint, unfortunately. Um, this this is still using uh, WebOS 1.4.5. And this does not give the stacking ability that some of you are already familiar with, but it, you know it's still it generally other than you know some searchable functions as well as some adjustments to the uh, the menu, it's relatively the same thing. So you know, like I've got a couple things opened up right here, but here's um, whoops, I just accidentally closed that out. So you got your get, got a game That's, that was terrible. So we can back out of that. Let's go back here. To, I've already got ESPN opened up right here. Now you can sit now. I've already got my music app opened up here. Listen to it. we still got the uh, same Alter Bridge song. And the thing that's really cool about the WebOS is it actually allows you, you can skip 
while you're still within an app. So here's my Twitter app right here. This is Twee. You can still, you know, skip forward, back. You can pause it. Um, then also too, you can open up emails from down here as well. Um, granted, now like I said in my article, this uh, operating system is not nearly as polished or as user friendly as some of these others. But in terms of the actual abilities that it gives you to be able to move between apps, you know, be able to interact with other apps while you're within. Um, some of these others, it's, 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 you know, it's bar none in my opinion. Um, it's just, you know, it, in terms of the actual performance of the device as well as the operating system, it does get, it's very cumbersome at times. Um, even here as well, we has got a video, and this is actually of the, uh, the Baylor marching band. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time to load, but once you get it going, it works just fine. And say, you, know, you want to pause that, you want to go back, go back to your game. Which I want to check the score of a game. Go back here to your email. I mean, like I said, I mean, once you get it going, man, you're just, you're just flipping right through it. It's, I mean, it's, it's very, very easy. It's very, very quick. So, all right, let's set that off to the side. Now let's go to the iOS. This right here, I mean, obviously, this since this is even though this is not an iPhone, um, this is the brand new version of the, uh, the iPod Touch. So it's very, you know, it's got the same Retina display as the iPhone 4. Um, but essentially, what we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go back in here. You got Safari. Here's your cards. Now, um, had somebody come to say that yeah, that these cards right here are you know this is multitasking. Um, th it's it's a web browser. I mean, it's essentially what you do is you're creating a tab. Um, the new version of, of uh, WebOS, Web, um, WebOS 2.0, allow, allows you to do the same thing. You're you're creating a card. Um, you know, and the other thing is too is that you know people are saying that this is you know true multitasking. Well, the idea was actually stolen originally from uh, WebOS. Believe it or not, WebOS came out before iOS um, 4. So it's it kind of makes me sick when people you know start making those claims. Um, also, too, I'm already here's my email. Go to GameStop. Now, problem a problem with this is is that unlike uh, the web OS, is that you, if you want to open up a uh, go back to your web page, you have to back out. Go ahead and go back to Safari. Now, what people are saying here's your multitasking. You got these bar, this bar down here at the middle, at the bottom. So you got your music going. Go ahead and pause that. Go back to your settings, but still, essentially, what you're doing is you're, you're you know it's still that save point. You're not working on the stuff at the same time. So, um, in terms of in terms of what you know, which one I prefer, um, I still prefer at this point in time the WebOS is by far my favorite. Um, it's you know, like I said, in terms of in the actual actual uh, performance of the device, um, it. it it, 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 re it really ruins the, the user experience, but at the same time, if you're looking for a device that, that truly gives you the ability to work on multiple things at the same time, um, I, the iPhone is definitely, in my opinion, is definitely not the way to go, just because of the fact that it, it does prevent, you have to back out, you're not working, you know, you can't just flip, you know, between things. Um, so, hope that gave you a better insight of what kind of device you want, and if you're looking for the ability to, uh, work on multiple things at the same time. So um, feel free to leave any comments. All right, thanks.